if a patient is not responding to their medications, uh, are there some side effects of those in the drugstores? Maybe a reason, or they don't know how to take the over-the-counter Flonase. I think you've absolutely hit the nail on the head. Part of it can be the side effects. Antihistamine tablets can cause drowsiness, even the ones that are labeled non-sedating. Patients can be very sensitive to those. They don't want to have to take those every day. With the nose sprays like Flonase, the nasal steroids, the most common side effect my patients complain of are headaches, and that can occur within 10 minutes of using the nose spray. So is it a reflex or what? What causes the headaches with Flonase, with, well, with one of the cordos? And, that, and let me say, you've got Flonase and Nasacort and, and Rhinocort, you've got a whole bunch of over-the-counter. They're basically the same, so I didn't want to give a bad name to Flonase, but why does it cause headache? I do think it's from that typical reflux uh -huh. that you mentioned. They, they have. So any other side effects of a cord intranasal steroid? The more bothersome side effects can be nosebleeds, and that can happen with continued use. If you are not having your nose regularly checked by your doctor, if you're using a nose spray on a regular basis, you can thin the mucosa in the nose, bring those capillaries to the surface, and make them more easily to bleed. So can you find that? Can you see that area on your physical exam when you're examining the nose? Yes, a physician can find that for you.